Sunday, May 7th, we're here in Wallingford, Connecticut, North American Breaking Championship. A very exciting day. It's gonna be our first ever Black Belt Challenge. I'm really excited about this. It's a brand new event that we have that is going to be the highest level qualification for competitive breakers to qualify for the Pro Series with the USBA WBA. I'm joined here by Master Bergamo, founder of the USBA WBA. How do you feel about this event today, sir? Oh, it's exciting. We uh, started our Pro Series last year. We had some great competitors and that went off very successful. Now this year we wanted to have a better challenge, a, a more unique uh, type of breaking for Black Bucks to compete to lead to the Pro Series. And uh, we have some uh, great events that uh, Esther Serrano has uh, chosen and uh, it's going to be totally at random so these guys don't know what they're breaking, they don't know if it's a wood or if it's a uh, concrete and it, it's strategy involved with quality and uh, expertise. That's exactly right. So this is going to be the qualifier for the Pro Series. You can't get into the Pro Series unless you win the Black Belt Challenge and they're going to be offered all around the country at different ones of our premier events. We're going to be offering the Black Belt Challenge. Like Master Burgo mentioned, the competitors coming into it signed up for this have no idea what they have to break. The only thing they know is that it's a power type division, it's not a creative, so there's no opinion, there's no judge's score, it's based purely on numbers, and that it's going to be events that don't already exist in the USBA WBA, so they're not going to see things they're comfortable with like power wood hand or concrete elbow. It's completely unique, they have no idea what they're going to do, and we have some crazy things that we're going to throw at them to see who is the best breaker. You know, I've always said, uh, breaking for this many years, that, you know, the best type of competition is you don't know what you're gonna do and you don't know uh, who you're gonna be against. I said, this really puts the best and the best out there. And just so that these breakers realize, we have a beautiful belt that we have uh, purchased with the USBA logo, of course, on it, and this is gonna be the first prize. And this year we have uh, a couple of great competitors that are gonna be uh, uh, fighting against one another to uh, see who the victor is. Yeah, this is probably one of the nicest awards that we've ever handed out, besides the Pro Series, the most prestigious, expensive, nicest awards, and it's gonna be worthy of something such as the Black Belt Challenge. I agree, I agree. In a few minutes, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna get the competitors together. And what we have is, we have cards that have all the different events on them. And the competitors are gonna to have to randomly choose cards for different ones of their events, and just find out right then and there what they're gonna to have to break and have less than an hour to mentally prepare, figure out how they're going to break within the realm of that card's option, and then boom, let's see what happens. And you know what's unique about this is, it's not about how many you break all the time. You may have to use strategy depending on the blocks are, depending on this, if the boards are spaced or not spaced. So it's strategy and uh, overall uh, uh, the best outcome of all your breaks. I'm curious to see when we talk to these competitors, how they prepare it, both mentally and physically, for a challenge where they have no idea what to do. They can't practice one or two techniques. They don't even know what to come up with to practice, so they have to make their whole mind, their whole body, ready for anything to throw at them. I agree, I agree. I've always thought of that. That's the best way to find out who the best breakers are. Let them don't let them have any idea what they're doing and come up with something that they have to be good at at that moment. Hey everybody, I'm joined right now by our first competitor, Danny Payden, out of Waterbury, Connecticut, student of East Coast Training Systems. Been up and coming breaker now for a while. I'm really excited to see what you do today. Danny, how do you feel this morning? I feel really good. Excellent. So this is the first ever Black Belt Challenge. You're walking in here today, you have no idea what we're gonna make you break with. You have no idea what's in store for you. How does that feel? Uh, a little nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie, a little oh. nervous. Uh, nervous, excited. Nervous, excited, okay. How did you go into preparing for this? I mean, you can't really practice one technique or another because you don't know what you have to do, so yeah. Yeah. mentally, physically. Yeah. Um, at these schools training systems, we're always training. We're always, uh, you know, whether it's uh, materials or, or you know, pad work, you know, just really focusing on, on technique you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, my master Chris Ronald, he does a, a great job getting this ready, so I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I like it, that's great. Is there anything that could be thrown at you that you're a little nervous about, or you feel confident all around? I feel confident all around except one division. Okay. That's uh, personally haunted me. 
which is the power wood hand. Power wood hand. So we're hoping for no power wood hand. But you'll probably get a little lucky because you know we're not offering the regular USBA divisions. You might get some kind of taste of power wood hand in another mix, but not straight up. You know what I mean? So that'll be good for you. But everything other than that, that's great. I'm here today with David and Mabel. Uh, he's from Waldorf, Waldorf, Maryland, Waldorf. Uh, he's one of our first Black Belt Challenge competitors. This is our first Black Belt Challenge we're doing here at the North American, the USBA, WBA, North American Breaking Championships. And I'm here today with him, and we're just going to talk a little bit about his thoughts on the Black Belt Challenge. So, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm glad you made it. So, you're excited? Yes, really excited, focused. So, this is a different kind of event. Then. You've never done this before. The events are going to be. Division's gonna be picked totally random. How do you prepare for this? You just gotta stay everything that you know from previous breaking experiences. You gotta combine that, you know, maybe try different stuff that you think that's gonna be there and just stay focused. How long have you been doing martial arts? Uh, about four years. Four years? Yes, sir. And you've been practicing breaking for almost all the time. Yes, sir. You've been competing with us. Yes, sir. So that's good. So you didn't do anything special, just your regular normal training routine and kind of preparing for everything? Yes, sir. And then, uh, nervous, yeah. excited. Yeah. You know, it's just an element of surprise. Don't know what you're going to get. And then, you know, just got to do what you got to do. This is a direct lead into the Pro Series. So if you win today, you'll be, you're going to be seated for the Pro Series coming up next year. So it's kind of exciting. It's a big deal. Yeah, We've I mean, only had one Pro Series so far and two winners. So. Yeah, so, you know, looking at, you know, previous Pro Series of how it went down, you know, all the great competitors and you, Master Bergamo, Master Grogan, you know, it, it's really exciting to see something like that because it's a different aspect of breaking. Is there any one particular division that if you had a choice, you wouldn't want? Yes, sir. Concrete elbow. Concrete elbow. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hope for no concrete elbow. Yes, sir. Right. Let's see what they pick inside, and we'll get right back to all right, guys, what we have here is the random selection card for the Black Belt Challenge. There's all different divisions here. They're not our standard divisions. These are some divisions that are really going to challenge the Black Belts. They could be wood, concrete. They could be something that is totally different that they've never seen. Or it could be a combination of some divisions that they've already done. So we're going to lay these out, and we're going to get started. So this is going to be a hard division. This is going to be difficult to do. They have to break a stack of horizontal block directly to a vertical stack. I mean, this is going to take, and they have to use both arms, too. So I'm assuming, I don't know this setup, because I don't know really what the dimension we want, but I'm assuming he's going to be doing something like this. this. A lot of difficulty. You've got to be right on the point. You don't want to miss. It's very easy to hurt your arm on it, so you got to be careful. But i got confidence that they'll do well. I think this is going to be awesome. They have have to go from a concrete stomp to a double wood hammer. We've seen this sometimes in creative, but we've never done it in like a power setting. So it's going to be interesting to go right from the stomp, jump off, boom, double power wood hammer. It's going to be something to see. It's only, just as the name implies, it's a challenge. The two competitors, we have two today, Mr. Daniel Payton. And they picked two cards. Two cards that told them what they would be doing today. They had no idea what they would be doing for divisions. Totally random. They actually picked cards to see who would choose the first card, and then they actually chose cards. So the two that they chose, 
was a horizontal and vertical concrete combo. And that's what you see set up here. They have to do one strike horizontal and one strike vertical. The total number of broken material is going to win. Mr. Payton has 21 blocks, 21 blocks between these two for the horizontal and the vertical strike. Again, it will be the best of total amount of material out of these two that will win this first division. David Mayton drew the luck of the cards and he let Danny go first, hoping to get an advantage strategy-wise where he could take some off if he wanted to to try to beat Mr. Payton. So, we're going to start with Mr. Payton. Let's get him, uh, give him some, what do you want, fire or do you want chair? Oh, let me hear it. Oh. You mean the combination part where you had one break immediately followed another and that was your whole set. Excellent. That's great. That's really yes, good. So how do you feel about your performance today? I think I did a good job. I see some personal best in my concrete elbow when I was afraid to do, but yep. yeah, excellent. 
Alright, so competed in my first black belt challenge and you know by me picking the right cards you know it was it was kind of hard because i didn't know what to expect you know and then when danny picked concrete elbow you know i was like oh man now i gotta figure out something i'm gonna do but then when i got the special combo and it was double wood hammer I was like, I got a, I got a chance now. So you know, it was, it was, it was exciting, and not knowing what to expect, it, it takes you to that level. You know, when you get a black belt, it takes you to that next level, and it was really exciting to do. A couple of weeks ago, when I uh, was uh, told to be one of the competitors in the black belt challenge, uh, I didn't know what to expect. Um, the divisions were really, really tough. Uh, it definitely is a challenge, it's within the actual word of the competition. Um, when I arrived, um, I got a little more nervous because the flip of the cards, I didn't know what to expect. And uh, the divisions, I had no idea that it was going to be two different breaks within three seconds of each other. Um, one of the most hard divisions that I've ever done first time was the horizontal elbow. Um, I've never, ever actually hit with a strike, which I, I chose now, uh, how hard it was. Um, David Mayton uh, is a fierce competitor. Um, I didn't know how close it was going to be. The, the three seconds in between the breaks were an amazing challenge, and I'm very humbled to, to represent East Coast Training Systems. My uh, master, Drew Serrano, all the years that I've had competing in, in, this, uh, in this sport and in the world of martial arts has brought out better of me, and uh, glad to be the first USBA WBA Black Belt Challenge champion. Excellent. How does it feel to be the first Black Belt champion? You feel you set that bar high for everybody else? I think you did. I'm oh, very honored. Um, it was just an amazing experience, and I'm glad you guys came up with this. I'm looking forward to, to the Pro Series if, if it comes around. Excellent. So, knowing that, I mean, are you going to train the Pro Series a certain way after seeing this? Oh, or? absolutely. Yeah. There, there's, now that we know what a Black Belt Challenge is, uh, it gives other competitors, either them, myself, and Dave, where uh, we didn't know who we were walking into. Yep. So now at least all the other competitors have an idea of what's to come, at least an idea. Which is right, but what they don't know is we're gonna keep adding more cards to that deck. Nice. So they don't know what they're gonna get. That's great. So we can look forward to seeing some more of these. Next Black Belt Challenge is coming up later this year. We'll get some more seated so we can get some winners to compete against Mr. Payton in the next Pro Series. See you guys soon.